Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I am so happy that you are watching this video because it's an important one. One of the things that I want to express is sheer joy because the government has actually recognized the impact that blockchain is making globally and the potential for it to transform the way that this country can operate from um, in an efficient, effective, transparent way. So first of all, I'm so, so happy that the ICT ministry has put together a task force to advise the government on how best to apply the technology on the different services that it has. So the question is, and I'm sure you're asking as you read the press and as you, you know, read you know, information about all this stuff is so what? Like, how does that even affect me? By the way, it affects you to the core. And I will try and help to break down how, from my understanding, that this stuff is going to help us. For the first time in history, documentation will be automated if we are indeed going to use blockchain. Do you know what that means? Just the automation of documentation, first of all. It is amazing. I was just having a conversation with a friend a short while ago and he was saying how he had such trouble getting an ID because they couldn't find his file. And therefore, it took a heck of a long time to get it. And then when he got it, he had to get a passport and then they hadn't linked his passport with his ID. And to get that linked, it takes two months because some guy has to go look for this file, sit down and I don't know do what with what documents and I, you know, it's insane. Getting any documentation processed in this country, the trips that everybody has to make to Nyaya house or to register a birth that you have to go line up and pay some crazy amount of money to get it done. It's insane. It is insane. I would love to see us move to where countries like Estonia are. And I did a few videos with um, the consul, the consul of Estonia a short while ago. So if you haven't watched those videos, I would suggest and highly recommend that you do so that you understand exactly what we're talking about. In Estonia, you sign in to something they call e-citizen and guess what? everything happens there you even get something they call a cryptographic key which helps you to sign documents it's an electronic signature basically that you sign forms if you want to register for anything you sign a form do you know what it takes to open a central bank cds account today i literally have to go physically to hell Selassie avenue to the national debt desk to fill a form and i don't finish there that form requires a signature from my bank so i walk to my bank if it is standard chartered or nic or kcb or whoever walk to them i need two signatures from my bankers to confirm that that is my bank account number and name and everything then once I get that, I have to go back to CBK, provide that specimen card, sign in their presence so that they see I am the one, provide my ID documentation, I have to have an original and a copy, I have to have a PIN certificate and a copy, I have to have all these other documents supporting my application physically. Eh? I mean, old people, do you know it is insane? Some of the registrars in this country require that you go physically. Any sick people are taken in wheelchairs, an officer comes downstairs so that they can prove, oh, new eh? Okay, eka sahihi hapa. I mean, really, in this day and age? So for me, I feel the automation on its own. Forget all the other benefits, which I will try and break down in another video. Automation on its own will bring transparency, will bring efficiency and effectiveness in the way that we run as a country. So please, if you're in IT, please publicize, tell people about it, blog about it so that we all understand what this actually means. For me, it is reduction in corruption. The fact that there's a central decentralized database that exists on all aspects, whether that's land, whether that's ID and national registry of persons, because it is impenetrable. That means you cannot have anybody come in and mess up or change anything. You can't have people fixing stuff so that it suits them. So for me, I want to say well done, your excellency, and well done to the ICT um, cabinet secretary, Joseph Mushero. I think this is fantastic, and I just hope that we will push through to the end to see the success of blockchain finally being put together and set up and used by the government of Kenya. I look forward to what's happening um, in the days to come. Take care, guys and keep watching.